where do I begin? Twenty twenty started as a feeling of progress. For me, it did, at least. The feeling of having my life together, of moving out of my parents' house, of doing well in my career, of having a plan to look forward to. And, as we all know, it wasn't long before life just kind of stopped. At first, we were grateful. Grateful to work from home. Grateful to have more time to explore hobbies or relax. Grateful to spend more time with family. No one was more grateful than our dogs, of course, whom we spent most of our time with. Spring was about slowing down for some and reaching goals for others and myself. Like forcing my body into unnatural positions in order to achieve the splits. Dedicating myself to my yoga practice. Learning new skills I will never actually need in real life. I'll head back to my apartment, I said. I'll start getting ready to go back to work, I said. But the empty streets of New York City said otherwise. After what now seemed like two months in isolation, we had to come to terms with the fact that we may be here a little longer than anyone expected. As summer approached, we started to go a little crazy. The only thing keeping me sane was a cold pool, warm nights spent with family, and outdoor dining, if you were one of the lucky ones. Oh, and a ton of Selling Sunset. Selling Sunset makes me feel like I can literally accomplish anything. That's the main reason why I got these extensions because I just was really trying to emulate Christine energy more. Summer was our distraction and our glimmer of hope. Maybe this will all be gone by fall, but for now, life is okay. And then fall came. And after living out of a suitcase for the past eight months, we not only questioned our situations, we began thinking about our lives. Who am I? Where do I want to be? Who in my life can I trust? What actually makes me happy? Spending more time thinking about yourself and thinking about the things that you actually want in life and like, what, is, what do I want in life? And I'm confused why I find it so difficult to focus on like the positive, exciting things that are gonna happen. I'm confused because I'm, I'm feeling more sad than ever. And just when you think all of your fears, anxieties, and unanswered questions are dropping down on you like a ton of bricks, you are now thrown into a mandatory two-week quarantine with nothing but you. It is day 14 in solitary confinement. I am constantly finding myself walking this fine line of, I don't want to complain about things that other people would only dream of still having, things that other people have lost, being able to accept that it's okay if I'm upset about it or if I'm frustrated and angry. Motherfucker. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of like shit that's going on inside of you when you just randomly start crying when you're talking to yourself in your bedroom. If I could sum up this year in one word, it would be alone, not just in a physical sense, but a mental, emotional one. I have never in my life spent so much time with me, thinking, sitting, doing nothing with me. And maybe that was the whole point after all. All the greatest philosophers and meditators say that you'll never be more at peace than in the present. So for me, maybe this was a year of learning how to do that. What's the point of life if we're not happy within ourselves? Not our jobs, our things, or the places we travel to. It's finding peace with yourself, regardless of what's happening around you. I'm not really sure what 2021 will look like. Hopefully it involves a lot more brunching. But what I do know is that I'm going into it a whole lot different than I was before. I just hope that when this does end, we can hold on to the little things that helped us grow and survive. Thanks, 2020. But peace the fuck out.